Hey everybody, this is Adam Kokesh here in Phoenix, Arizona with Robert Allen Pepitone of the Arizona Libertarian Party. He is a candidate for Arizona State House to represent District 27 as part of the Arizona Freedom Team effort to get on the ballot after the Republicans sued and got all of us Libertarians taken off. So Robert, how did you, uh, how did you get voluntold? How did you fall over backwards into running for state rep as a Libertarian? Yeah, so um, I was originally volunteering on another campaign that was sued off by um, Arizona GOP uh, chairman, Ly Mr. Lines, um, scumbag of uh, all scumbags. And um, I decided that now that with all my extra free time, I'm going to uh, affect some policy in the, in the state of Arizona. Tell us how you really feel about the Republican Party, Robert. Uh, well, I think I pretty much summed it up. Uh, I I was doing some custom searches for license plates, and no Ducey was uh, was an option. <laughs> That's Governor Ducey, Republican here in Arizona, and it, it is yeah. I I I I'm normally like, how dare you use ad hominems? We're libertarians. We're supposed to be better than that. But then you go. No, with everything that Republicans, specifically Republicans, uh, because they've been in power to do this, have done to keep libertarians off the ballot in Arizona, scumbaggy is is really uh, an appropriate way of describing it. Yeah, they play they play dirty politics. Um, they changed laws in 2015 that had an effect solely on libertarian uh, ballot petition signature requirements, and uh, it's kept us off the ballots. And this year we had two candidates who went out and collected and did the work that they had to do to collect those signatures and they were sued off and they played the money game because uh, uh, unfortunately our candidates don't have hundreds of thousands of dollars to defend these frivolous lawsuits and um, you know unfortunately we were removed from the ballots. So you're born and raised in Arizona, correct? Yeah, I was born here in 1988, um, just a couple miles down the road from where we're standing right now and lived here my entire life except for about 13 months in Iraq and six months in Missouri for basic training in IIT. Well, I'm packed in a lot there, but you're, you're um, wow. So, and you actually live in the district, right, that you're running to represent specifically. What is that area? So that's um, um, Legislative District 27 is in South Phoenix, Levine, all the way over to, to the I-10, basically in Baseline over in Guadalupe, and covers the downtown area where the courts and all that stuff are also. So at some point, you left the state of Arizona for the Army. You were an MP. Tell us about that. Yeah, so I um, graduated from high school, um, didn't have the greatest grades, um, n not because uh, you know, I wasn't smart enough, but I you know, didn't feel challenged. I wanted a challenge. I went off to the United States Army, served six years, three months, 17 days in the United States Army as a uh, military police officer. <laughs> Funny how you remember certain numbers when they stick in your head like that. That's really cool. Um, and, and you came back, and you, you're still living uh, in this area. What, what keeps you in Arizona? Yeah, I, I really love Arizona. It's a beautiful state, um, lots of great people. Um, you know, my family's all here. My wife's family's all here. My daughter was born here. Um, it's where I want to be, where I want to spend, spend the rest of my life. Um, but, uh, you know, I graduated from a ASU. I, it's, I went to high school in the same district that I'm running for. I've lived there since 2001. It's, it's home to me. How did you become a libertarian? Uh, so... Really, I jumped in kind of uh, towards the end. Uh, you know, I followed the um, 2012 uh, Ron Paul campaign, and the Republicans did him dirty at convention. And I remember there was a guy who had a really funny quip about shovel-ready jobs, and uh, that was Gary Johnson. So um, soon after, I joined the Libertarian Party and um, was more of an internet troll for a couple of years. And then uh, about two and a half years ago, I started getting involved in the party. And uh, now I'm knee deep in it. <laughs> and his name is going to be on the ballot after getting rid of course. And this is this is the, the silly thing here in Arizona. This is what we have to do to get on the ballot. This is what the Arizona Freedom Team is all about. And if you can sign up to help us out, please, ArizonaFreedomTeam.com. Give us your contact information there. We need people here who can reach out to libertarians in the state of Arizona and in these districts specifically where we have candidates to write them in on the ballot because the Republicans sued. They got the libertarians off. We have to have a special write-in campaign to get them on the ballot. And thanks to Barry Hess, uh, especially primarily for organizing this effort and putting this together. Uh, he is our gubernatorial candidate, really leading the ticket. Technically, I'm on the top as the Senate because it's the, uh, the federal race and it's higher on the ballot. And uh, our congressional candidates are higher. But really, when we talk about 
this is the Arizona Freedom Team. Yes, technically I would be running for the higher office to represent Arizona in the Senate, but it's it's our governor who's who's leading this and, and Barry who has recruited so many great candidates to be a part of this effort like Robert. So Robert, um, in, in, in this race, looking at how you apply libertarian principles to the state of Arizona, what is this race about for you and, and what are your priorities as a, a state rep? Uh, so in my district particularly, um, it's an uncontested race. Um, there's only Democrats currently um, available as an option. Um, and I do not feel that my district, and I, I actually know my district, is not um, that uh, left-leaning. Um, and they deserve to have a voice that will stand up for fiscal, um, uh, you know, fiscal issues and lower taxes um, that's going to fight for some. They deserve somebody that's going to fight for them. And um, it's also going to stand up for their, their social issues that they believe in, um, you know, uh, Ending, um, uh, ending uh, cannabis uh, laws and um, pushing, uh, pushing for uh, abolishing Article 30 from the Arizona State Constitution are, are things that people in this district um, are going to want and they do want. And uh, I'm going to push for those in the legislature. For our friends outside of the state, Article 30, can you explain that, please? Yeah, sorry about that. Um, Article 30 is the law, is the constitutional amendment that. Um, defines marriages between one man and one woman. Obviously, that's null and void because of uh, federal ruling, um, but it still sits on our uh, Constitution, and it's embarrassing. Now, speaking of embarrassment, just like anywhere else in the country here in Arizona, although we do have our, our unique strains of uh, hypocrisy from the old parties, what do you think that you can do as a, as, as a libertarian voice in, in the state, uh, state house about that? Yeah, so um, the state house consists of 30 different districts. There's two um, reps from each district. That means if I, when I am elected, I will be one of 60, um, and I can really push for whatever I want. Um, I can push conservatives to be lower for ta on lower on taxes and push them on fiscal issues, and I can push um, Democrats to stand up for so the social issues that we all uh, agree on, and um, I can really force them to be what they are. And, they can get on my back and you mean what they say they are what they say they are right what they what they lie that they lie to say that they're about um as nick recently pointed out um yeah i i can be the one that carries them all on my back and i can say and they can say oh it was that libertarian guy it wasn't me this is a really great point is that you know republicans and conservatives say hey we're fiscally conservative fiscally responsible and that's what people supposedly like about them or that they respect freedom and then you go and you look at voting records you go uh no they're not and the things that democrats uh have about them that people like that they're socially tolerant and that they want to take care of people and that they're, they're for the little guy you go look at their voting records you go, no they're not and the power of having even one libertarian in a state house like arizona can be a, a major force to to just disrupt this disgusting duopoly so Robert, what do you think uh, people in Arizona who are look, considering writing you in in, in, in their district, um, you know, what do they need to know about you personally? Yeah, I think um, if you're going to vote for me, if you're a registered libertarian in the district and you're going to write my name in, um, know that uh, I, I'm going to be your only option on the ballot that's going to um, reduce government spending, that's going to... Uh, uh, reduce uh, drug laws in the state of Arizona, uh, it's going to stop the perverse uh, prison profit motive that, that is in existence right now. Um, I'm going to be your option. Uh, we're, uh, as you know, my degree is in criminal justice and criminology. And, you know, when I look at the data, it's, it's pretty clear. We're spending a lot of money on housing non-violent non drug offenders. And it's absolutely ridiculous. Awesome. Any websites you want to plug, Robert? No website. I have my Facebook page. Uh, my public uh, figure uh, Facebook page would be Peptone for... Uh, Arizona, the number four, uh, Peptone for Arizona. And you can find that through our main website, ArizonaFreedomTeam.com. Again, please sign up there. Help this effort. Let's get some libertarians elected here in Arizona. Thank you so much. Peace.